so she is always on time. Good morning, everybody. Um, in the last 24-hour batch, there were more than 8,600 cases uh, down in New South Wales, which is, again, a very good number. It hits our 8,000 minimum target we want to achieve. And can I please stress, as the days get colder, as we ease restrictions, it's so important for people to come forward and get tested, even with the milder symptoms. Please make sure you do. And please make sure that if there's somebody in your uh, workplace or somebody in your family who's feeling ill, that you put pressure on them to get tested, to come forward and get tested. It's so essential this happens. There are there were three cases identified in those 8,600 people that got tested, uh, and Dr Chant will provide fur further details on those three cases. But it is so critical and so important uh, to make sure people come forward and get tested. I can't stress that enough. It is uh, critical. Uh, to our success in New South Wales into the future. If we want to reopen the economy, if we want to get jobs back, we have to make sure there's a few things people continue to do. Get tested if you're unwell and stay home. Do not leave the house if you're unwell. Make sure we, if you do leave the house that you have social distancing. Absolutely critical. And also make sure uh, that you're very conscious of what you're doing when you leave the house. Uh, do not touch surfaces unless you have to if they're in a common place. Uh, do exercise extreme caution and please make sure if you're a vulnerable person or dealing with a vulnerable person that you take extra care. And even though we're easing restrictions, we know that people may not choose uh, to, to do everything that they're allowed to do. Uh, at the end of the day, we also have to take our own personal responsibility and make decisions about what's best for ourselves, our families family and our loved ones. So I just urge everybody to be really cautious moving forward, even though we're easing restrictions and there'll be more easing of restrictions as time goes on. And of course, uh, our efforts to open the economy are very strong at the moment. We want to save jobs. Uh, we cannot afford to continue to have the job losses that we've encountered in April. And that's why I'm very pleased to have with me today the Minister for Planning, who had announced the first tranche of projects that we're going through a speedier approval process. Uh, now there's a second tranche that he's announcing today, uh, which has the potential to put in an extra $5 billion into our economy and create jobs. And that is something all of us uh, should feel positive about because uh, anything we can do as a government to keep jobs, to save jobs and to create new jobs, we know will help communities uh, get through the next few months and beyond. And I want to thank Minister Stokes and his team for the great work they've done. And many of these projects um, will go through the assessment process. In the first batch that we had, um, a number of projects were modified, one was rejected, but at least two dozen of them went through that approval process or went through the process uh, much more quickly than what they would have otherwise. And I'll let Minister Stokes go through that detail. And, I also want to stress uh, to all of our citizens, Monday is a big day, all the, all the uh, students go back to school full time, parents will make assessments about how they work uh, and we ask everybody to exercise extreme caution and uh, it's really, really important that we don't forget, we don't let our guard down, we don't get complacent because complacency, as I've said, is as big an, as an enemy as the virus is itself. The virus is very contagious. Uh, when Dr Chant goes through the explanations of how someone may have caught the virus, we know it is extremely contagious. It could be as simple as sharing the same surface with someone who had the virus, touching something someone else had touched, as simple as that, and you could have a deadly virus. Because it is so contagious is why we have to be extra careful. And whilst we're managing the health side, whilst we're making sure that we have our testing rates up, that we're supporting our health system, that we're building capacity in our system, we also have to focus on getting those jobs back. And that is uh, a focus which we uh, are very invigorated about in New South Wales. Uh, we know that if we don't act in a particular way, there will be parts of our economy that may never come back and we don't want to see that happen. And that's why, whether it's through the planning system, whether it's through infrastructure, whether it's through opening up uh, sections of the community that were previously um, closed because of the virus, uh, that, that, jobs, that, that jobs target is so critical. I'll now ask Dr Chant to give us her update and then uh, Minister Stokes will give us further uh, details about his project. 